Hello everyone, welcome back to today's video. I'm going to apologize first off if the audio is not that good in this video. I am using a Go XLR starting today. Um, so I've switched up a lot of settings. It's no longer using phantom power or anything. Um, so we, I've completely switched up my mic setup pretty much is what this means. Um, so I am still adjusting the settings. Please let me know how it sounds, what you want to hear changed down in the comments below. Anyway, we're going to get straight into this video today. Today we are checking out the DJI Mavic drone inside of 5M. It is a flyable drone. You can fly it around. You can have fun with it. Um, there's a lot of cool things you can do with this. Obviously, it's just something that's a kind of a, uh, a cosmetic type add-on rather than something that you can actually really need in your 5M server. I don't know. I was strolling through the forums. It was posted like four minutes ago when I'm making this video, um, but it just looks cool to me. I'm a really fun... I have a drone's license and stuff, so it's kind of fun to mess with them sometimes. So... Anyway, we're just going to go ahead and install this today. All you have to do is go to this resource page linked in the top of the description and go ahead and click the DJI.zip file and go ahead and open up with WinZip, 7-Zip, WinRAR, whatever you use to open up these files. And what you're going to do is you're going to find wherever you installed your server to. For me, it's my server data resources folder is where all my resources are stored. If you're on Zap hosting, it's through your uh, FTP file access. If you're on TX Admin, it's through your TX data folder. So I'm just going to find my resources folder and it's pretty simple to drag this in. You're going to go inside the first folder because there is a second folder and it's going to be the Mavic DJI, which is what you're going to go ahead and drag in here. And I'm just going to rename this to keep it easy. And I'm just going to get rid of the Mavic at the beginning and just copy the remaining little bit of the folder. And then in here, you can see it is just the stream folders, the handling and all that. This is going to be the name of our vehicle. We're going to spawn when we get in game using a trainer of some sort, which is the actual drone itself. So then if we go back to our server.cfq file and edit it with notepad or notepad++, if you are on Zap hosting, make sure to do it through your web interface. Just type insure or start, depending on what you have here, the name of the folder, and go ahead and save your server, just like that. Now, if we go ahead and actually start up our server, we are just going to make sure in console it has loaded successfully by just taking a look and waiting for the started resource, the name of the resource folder to appear. And there you go. There's the name of the resource folder. We know we are started it up correctly. So let's go ahead and hop in game and see what we can get ourselves into with this drone. All right. So we are in game here and we are now going to spawn our vehicle. So I've opened up my spawn vehicle menu. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to type in RC and then Mavic, which is the name of the vehicle give it a moment to spawn and there it is right in front of us there it is on the ground so it is a pretty unique model um obviously this doesn't exist in default gta so it's pretty cool to see that it's spawning in here um and i i kind of just like the look of it, it it's small but it, it is pretty cool at the same time so i do very much enjoy that all right so when we spawn into the vehicle uh you can see we are here obviously going up is going up um which is pretty cool and then you can point forward and turn to the side you know all that good drone stuff um so it's pretty cool to see camera doesn't really like it that much but it is pretty cool to fly with you can press e to go to hover mode and turn to fly mode just like it would be in a hydra or something else in the game so have fun with this um play around with it it's pretty cool there's our uh, thing from the last video if you haven't seen it go check out it link in the description and on the cards in the top left hand corner uh, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment, and hopefully you did enjoy it. That doesn't look good for my drone. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Again, subscribe, like, and comment. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye, everyone. Uh-oh. This doesn't look good.